have your one-time classes been a little bit low on enrollments? I know mine personally have, so I decided to try and do something about it. Today, I'm going to show you how I am improving my one-time class listings. <music> My name is Alejandra Londano and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, you find lots of videos specifically about teaching and working online from home. In today's video, I'm going to share how I am improving my one-time class listing. Now, tip number one is a little bit obvious. It is to improve that class thumbnail. So I edit all of my thumbnails on Canva and I have lots of tutorials that already go into a little bit more detail of that. So I'm gonna make this a bit quick. So here I am still trying to make my thumbnail bright and eye-catching, but I've decided to use a real giraffe and a different picture of myself, hopefully trying to attract more people that way. Okay, so here's my final copy. I'm honestly having mixed feelings about it. I don't know if I like this one or the other one better. I would definitely appreciate some help. Let me know in the comments down below if you like my first thumbnail or my second thumbnail best. Tip number two is to add more detail to your class description. So here are some things I'm improving. I've decided to ask questions to try to get my potential students interested. I provided some more details about what we actually learned in the class. And then I tried to include a little bit more about my teaching style. So honestly, I'm just trying to add a lot more detail here. Tip number three is to include keywords in your title and your summary. Now I'm going to pick another class and edit this class just a little bit. So the class I have here is Let's Learn Rhyming Words with Mrs. Alejandra, Pre-K and Kindergarten Prep. I actually have a sample class video on my YouTube channel if you're actually interested in seeing how I teach this class. But let's go ahead and make some little touches on the class listing. Okay, so before I can even edit this class listing and add more keywords, I need to think about what are some keywords for this class? What am I trying to really teach my students here? So this class is obviously about rhyming words. So I definitely want to include rhyme, rhyming, rhyming words, something like that in there. Now the rhyming words I'm focusing on here are actually CVC words. So that might actually be another keyword I could include, CVC words. Now I'm gonna keep writing down some of my ideas here. Okay, and you can see on my little dirty whiteboard here that I have written down a few keywords. These are just words that I think um, I might type in if I was looking for a class like this. I have rhyme, CVC words, kindergarten, pre-K, phonological awareness, introduction to phonics, sounds, rhyming pairs. So I just have a few words or ideas and I really wanna pick out some of those words and try to include them in either my title or my short summary. So let's go ahead and edit this class a little bit. I am gonna make some changes to my summary. And here I'm just trying to add more key words in that summary. Tip number four is to add a video to your class listing. I would honestly say about half of my classes have a video. I actually need to work on uploading more videos because I think it does help a little bit with your class listing. Parents are able to see what you look like, hear your voice, learn a little bit more about you and your teaching style, and then have a quick overview of what your class might be like, or even you could do like a trailer. So the videos I usually have are very simple. I'm just introducing myself, and then I go over very quickly what we're going over in that class. So I'll go ahead and share some samples with you, but if you have not uploaded class videos, that might be a great way to improve those class listings. Hello, my name is Miss Alejandra, or Miss A for short. In this one-time class, students will learn the basics of rhyming. We will sing some songs and do some fun activities so students can listen and try to identify rhyming words. In this class, students do not have to have a strong background in letter recognition. It's really focusing on the sound. So, if you have a learner that's ready to start rhyming, I definitely recommend this class.
Tip number five is to add details and a description in that section of teacher expertise as well as learning goals. Okay, so first let's look at those learning goals. You can see it's optional, but I think it's a great place to add and show that you have specific goals for the learners in your class. And the example I have here is for my rhyming class, so if you'd like to read them, just hit pause real quick. And you can also add teacher expertise. This section is also not required, even though I have had some class listings that have been denied if this section wasn't filled out. So I'm not really sure if it's a new out school policy, but I think this is a great place for you to showcase yourself and really let parents know why you are a good teacher. And my last tip is to add a suggested class below. So for this class, for example, let's learn rhyming words with Miss Alejandra. Once the students have taken the class, I have a recommended class here. Alejandra Landano suggests this class next. Kindergarten ABC fun, let's learn and write our letters. Now, something else you could do is you could have your one-time classes try to suggest your ongoing classes, your multi-day classes, your semester-long classes. So I have to add this one in really quick. Next class, let's do all about animals. Save, but my description is there. And then you can see Alejandro Londano suggests this class next. So hopefully helping you get re-enrollments in your listings. Now that wraps up today's video. I hope that these tips can help improve your class listings. If you have any other tips that I did not mention, please leave them in the comments down below. Your comment might help another person watching this video. If you found this video helpful, I would so much appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and you hit that subscribe button. That subscribe button and that thumb actually helps me a lot in growing my channel. And as I've mentioned in other videos, I'm really trying to grow my channel and help as many online teachers as possible. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye.